Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of It's Gotta Be Halloween 2018. This look is my take on one of the classic universal monsters, Frankenstein's monster. As always, the products, my social media, and the music used will be listed in the description. And with all of that said, let's get into the tutorial. seemed right to start off it's gotta be Halloween in full potato mode with a bald cap on and my brows blocked. I made my little exposed brain cap by stippling layers of latex into a gelatin mold then peeling it out. I popped it on top of my bald cap then used prosthetic adhesive to glue down the edge. I made some little gashes for my chest by stippling latex into a wound board I made. A wound board is just a flat mold that contains many small prosthetics. I made one back in college, they're actually really easy to make, but if you don't want to make one, you could also do direct latex buildups on your skin or just use makeup to paint the illusion of the wounds. I applied the little gashes with Prosade Prosthetic Adhesive, which is a water-based adhesive and much stronger than spirit gum. I used Mortician's Wax to create a lip around the brain cap. I adhered the wax with Prosade and smoothed down the edges with a sculpting tool and my fingers. But don't use your fingers too much because the heat from your hands will transfer to the wax and make it goopy and very hard to work with. I sealed the edges of the wax down with a thin layer of latex. Remember that many people are very allergic to latex, so please always do a patch test before using latex on someone for the first time. Apply a thin patch on their wrist, and if redness, irritation, or a rash occurs, do not proceed with use. I started by blocking in the contours with a light brown grease paint. I applied it messily with a sponge just to get a very basic idea of the shapes and features that I was going for. Then I deepened the contours and wrinkles with a darker brown grease paint. I started spattering body paint onto my face and chest to create the gross, decaying skin tone. The best tool for this is a clean toothbrush. I used a cream color, then a pink tone, then I mixed up a deep brick red color, then I switched back to the cream to break it up a bit because it got a bit muddy for my liking. This look is honestly really simple to achieve if you have some time and patience for all of the layering. I used a stencil to add a bit of a different texture. First I applied a mustard yellow eyeshadow over the stencil, then I applied a deep red shadow. To kind of knock back the color a bit, I applied a very thin layer of a medium coverage foundation over the traditional highlight areas of my face and chest to bring those areas forward and make them pop. Next I used alcohol activated paints to add in some vein patterns. Alcohol paints are nice because they're not as opaque as water activated paints so they don't fully cover what is beneath them and the effect is a bit more subtle. You can also gently tap the paint before it's dry to make it even more subtle. I added some blue veins, reddish veins, and some purple toned veins. Like I said, this look is all about the layers. Then I applied another sheer layer of foundation to kind of give the illusion that the veins and all the gross discoloration was within the skin, not just sitting on top. 
I used a ripped up sponge to apply a red cream makeup around the chest gashes and the edge of the brain because those areas would be more irritated than the surrounding skin. To add even more irritation, I spattered red alcohol paint around the gashes on my chest. Now for some contouring. I used the mustard eyeshadow to start adding some depth and dimension to my face and chest. Then I used a deep red eyeshadow to darken those contours. I used a deep purple eyeshadow to really define the deepest wrinkles and contours. I filled in the gashes with red body paint. Then I lined the inner edge of the gashes with a deeper red body paint to add depth to the wounds. I based the brain cap out with pink body paint. Then I added in the details with purple and red alcohol paints. I lined the inner edge next to the brain with red body paint, then added a bit of blood over top. I also added some blood into the chest gashes. And I applied some blood here and there on the brain as well. To get a nice wet look on the brain, I applied a bit of clear lip gloss with my fingers. I made some neck bolts out of plastic and clay and they had little latex bases so I could apply them with Prosade. Off camera, I used a needle and some floss to add stitches to the latex gashes. I used floss because it's more durable and thicker than thread. I used red body paint to stipple some irritation around the neck bolts, then I used red alcohol paint to add a bit of vein patterning. I lined my waterline with an eye safe red pencil so my eyes looked irritated. My teeth were looking a bit too clean at this point, so I applied a bit of tooth lacquer to them. Congratulations, you have made it to my end screen. Click that top link to check out my last video or click that bottom link to check out last year's It's Gotta Be Halloween videos. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss a single video for me in the future, click that little circle with my face in it to subscribe.